so hi everyone today we will be discussing about how we can predict future relationships that like future edges that may come up in a particular network or a graph uh, in graph analytics uh, so let's get started so the first criteria on which uh, we can forecast our future edges that may come up in a network uh, is community based so for example if to uh, uh, in, if you have seen my previous video where i have discussed how communities in a network or graph can be detected so if two nodes uh, uh, suppose u and v are part of the same community and they don't have an edge as of now there are high chances that uh, they might develop some future edge now uh, moving on to the next uh, next criteria that is distance based now in distance based we have multiple variations uh, the first one is the shortest distance now in terms of shortest distance we can have again two variants one is like we pick up uh, like for uh, between all the nodes u and v where we don't have an edge in a particular graph we calculate the shortest distance and pick up the top n node pairs where uh, the shortest distance is the lowest so for example uh, like uh, of all the possible node pairs where don't, which don't have an edge between them in the graph we first calculate the shortest distance and took top 10 uh, top 10 lowest shortest distance path and eventually formed edge between those edges uh and on the between those nodes the second thing that we can do is ki uh, we can calculate the shortest path between each and every node pair which don't have an edge as of now and then have a threshold that if the shortest path is less than this particular threshold uh a future edge might be present as a future is not possible so these are the two variants of the shortest path moving on to a second variant of the distance based criteria for uh, link prediction is the cats index now the cats index is a bit interesting and is an extension of the shortest path that we saw earlier so uh, the formula for uh, the metric that we calculate for calculating cats index between uh, two nodes is a uh, summation over a beta into path uva now what does this mean and what actually this is so it states that uh, what it tries to calculate is a complicated metric uh, by considering all the possible paths uh, between two nodes u and v uh, and then apply weights to each type length of the path so for example uh, assume that there are two nodes u and v which have three possible paths uh, like one of the path as you can see in the example uh, there are two paths of length 1 and three paths of length 2 and two paths of length 3 between two nodes u and v now our cats index becomes beta 1 into 2 beta 2 into 3 beta 3 into 2 now with these beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 are the coefficients the, the weights that we are assigning to path so uh, greater the path length uh, smaller would be the beta value so eventually what we're trying to do is that in this cas index we're trying to allocate uh, more weightage to shorter paths as compared to the longer paths but all the paths between two nodes are considered now neighbor based uh, criteria between for future for relationship prediction so one of the most common is common connections so for example in case of friendship only say you have a uh, uh, four common friend between a per, we have a four common friend between raj and sanu so there are high likely chances that these two might be friends as well so more the common connections between the two uh, two nodes more are the chances that they might develop a future edge uh, uh, the metric that has been calculated is using the set of connections of raj intersection set of connections of sanu so all the friends of raj and all the friends of sanu the intersection is in the common set of uh, friends between them uh the future edge depends upon their count so if the higher number of common friends the higher the chance that they to become friends also uh now atomic adar atomic adar is again a connect uh, a neighborhood based uh, criteria for future edge prediction but with a twist so here what we're trying to do is to provide more weightage to those common connections between u and v which don't have much connections So, for example, assume there is a node uh, like there are a couple of pair of node U and V, and they have a common uh, node uh, to which they have as V. Now, V only has two edges, assume. So, it states that uh, when a person is uh, doesn't have many edges uh, like uh, from itself, but has to, but it's common a connection between two. So, it can be the case that U and V will also be uh, may also develop uh, an edge in the future. so it states that like uh, the formula for link prediction in atomic adar is summation over i 1 upon log degree of i where i belongs to the connection of u intersection connection of v so what does this mean that 
so eventually assume uh let's uh move with this example uh in the first case uh we have like we are trying to predict the edge between u and v right? whether an edge can exist or not now we see that they have a common connection x but as you can see in the two pictures x has a very less connection here that is only three one two and three while in case of here uh, edge, uh x has many connections that is seven one two and these five nodes now Adamic uh, states that uh, in such cases, uh, such a connection uh, should be given more value in such cases where uh, X itself don't have much connections to other nodes. So the formula is given by summation, uh, summation over I, one upon degree of I. So uh, assume that if we move with an example, in the first case, the Adamic Adar value would be one upon three because U and V has just one connection that is x and x has degree 3 so if we go by the formula summation of i 1 upon log degree of i so 1 upon log 3 now eventually in case of the second image as we can see as x many value so the value so the value of atomic adar would be 1 upon log 7 now if they would have multiple common nodes we would have sum, uh, summed them also it would be more like 1 upon log 3 1 upon, plus 1 upon log 7 so degree of 1 upon log degree of all the connections that are common between uh, the two edge uh, between the two nodes and as we are doing a reciprocal so eventually uh, any node with a lower degree would be given higher priority in the formula now total connections is easy uh, uh, it goes in idea that popular people like people which have which have more connections which have higher degree tend to be connected themselves as well uh, so it is given by the formula connections of u union connections of v and similarly a uh, uh, formula for the same like uh, a metric on a similar ground that is preferential attachment so in case of doing a union what you're doing is degree of u multiplied by degree of v so we can set up thresholds here to like uh, when this value is greater than uh, greater than some threshold then only we would be considering an edge else we won't be considering an edge in the future